Hello, friends of Sudoku, and welcome to yet another expert Sudoku by El Pais. And it seems rather busy, but that's absolutely no reason to hope for a very easy puzzle. These puzzles, as I think I've said before, often start out very easy, and then they become progressively more difficult as the solve evolves. Let's see what we have here, though. We have a 2, 6, and a 5 blocking this square. So a 2, 6, and a 5 must go over here. And that means that this has got to be a 4. 2, 6, and a 5 here. We have a 2 blocking down, so 2 goes here or here. We have a 5 blocking up, so a 5 goes here or here, and therefore this square can't be a 5. This 5 also blocks here, so... Here's a 5, and here we are going to have a 2 and a 6. Speaking of 2s, we have a 2 blocking across here and down here. One of these is going to be a 2 blocking across. This 2 blocks across, and this 2 blocks up. So here is another 2. And we have a 7 blocking up here and two 7s blocking across. So here's a 7. 3 blocks up, 3 goes here or here. So now we have a 7 and a possible 3 here, and we have a 7 and a 3 here. Therefore, these two squares must be a 7 and a 3. Agreed? I think that is correct. So 7, 3 here, 2, 6 here, 1, 4, 9 here. Can we do anything with that? So these being a 7 and a 3, that leaves these three empty squares. They must be a 9, 6 and a 1. A 9 blocks over, 9 goes here or here, 6 blocks over, 6 goes here or here, and a 1 could go potentially anywhere. So I don't really know what to do about that. I know, however, that an 8 blocks down and up and over, so an 8 goes here. 7 blocks up and down and over, 7 goes here, and look at this. Now we have a 7, 8 here and a 7, 8 here. We need a 7 and an 8 for these two possessions. 7, 8. Therefore, these must be a 1 and a 9. The 9 blocks down. Here is a 1. Here is a 9. 1 and 6 here now. Therefore, a 2 and a 4 here. The 2 blocks over, giving me a 4 here and a 2 here. Now we have a 4 blocking down and over and down. A 4, therefore, must go here. We said that these are 2, 6, didn't we? And I still persist, so they must be a 2 and a 6. But the 2 now blocks down, giving me a 6 here and a 2 here. This 6 blocks all the way up here. This 6 blocks across here. So a 6 goes in the corner, and therefore a 3 must go here. Remember how a 7, 3 go here? Therefore, a 3 must go here. Now a 1, 9, and a 5 here. We can place the 1 because we have a 5 and a 9 blocking across. So here's a 1. Here a 1 and a 9. 1 and a 9. Ah, look at this. We have a 1, 3 blocking here, here, and here. 1, 3. 1, 3. None of these squares can be a 1 and a 3. Therefore, 1 and 3 must go in these two squares. That means that these three squares must be a 7, 8, and a 9. The 9, of course, can't go here. So 
it must go here or here. And therefore we are going to have a nine here or here. We also have nines here or here. Uh, too complicated, I think, for my small brain this morning. Let's look elsewhere for a nice number. Four. Four blocks across here and here. So four goes here or here, doesn't it? We also have a four here or here because of these two fours blocking these four squares. Five. Seven, eight here, five blocks down. Ah, five has too many candidate cells in block four, unfortunately. We need to narrow those down a bit. Let's see, a three can't go here, so a three goes here or here. A six can't go here, so a six goes here or here. And that raises a question, what then must go here? Seems to be a five, doesn't it? Now we have these two fives blocking, so a five goes here, and now we have a nine here. Is that going to be helpful? Yes, I think so, because as we recall, one of these must be a nine, because we need a one and a three here, so this can't be a nine. Now we have these two nines blocking across here. This can't be a nine, so a nine is forced to go here. And that gives us another nine, and this time for block four. Nine here blocks up, nine here blocks down, nine here blocks over, nine therefore goes here. And we still have a three and a six remote pair here. Can't we do anything about this? Yes, we can. And here's how we solve that a little bit. We have a three blocking across here and up here. So one of these is three. Ergo, this can't be a three. Therefore, it must be a six. And the three must go here. This three blocks across. This three blocks down. Here's the three. And as we recall, the other number must be a seven, which now blocks across. There's seven blocks down, here's a seven. We know that one of these had to be a nine, so the nine goes here. And therefore an eight must go here. It's the last number missing in the column when these are one and three, right? So eight here, and that gives us a seven here. This is going very well, I think. One and a nine. Ah, yes, we got the nine here now, so we can place a one here and a nine here. So one, three, one, one, one. What were these again? They were one and a six, weren't they? Yes, they were, and the six now forces the one to go here and a six here. This one blocks over here, therefore we have a one in this position and therefore here, and that gives us the three here, the other part of the one three pair, right? Now we have a four and a five here. What can we do with that, if anything? <laughs> we also have fours here or here. Fives here, here or here. So let's look at these three squares. Apart from the five, we also need to find a two and an eight. The eight fortunately blocks over. So here's an eight, here's a two, five. And that gives us here a four and a six. The four blocks down, here's the, therefore a six, and here is a four. Six blocks up 
and six blocks over here is a six. Here are nine, uh, no, here are one and a five. Let's see, one and a five. Here are three and a five. Those fives are, speaking of threes, we have the three blocking over here and up here. So a three must go here, and therefore we have a three in one of these two squares, along, of course, with a two. This two forces a three in this position. The two must go here. The three blocks down. Here's a three. Now, this has got to be a five. Therefore, this must be a five and this must be a one. Giving me a one here. This square can only be an eight. And now we have an eight here. Here we have a two. Giving us a two here. And a five here. Now, this is a five and this is a four because we know these are fives and fours. This must be a four. A very nice expert puzzle from El País once again. I'm really enjoying these. I know that they don't get as many views as my New York Times Hard Sudoku puzzle uploads. And I really don't understand why, because in some ways, I think that the El País puzzles are of a higher quality, usually, than the New York Times ones. But there you have it. You now have a choice. I hope you liked it and that you'll come back for more soon. Thank you for watching and bye for now.